and welcome to day 8 of Vlogmas. So before I get into the point of this video, I'm going to find day number 8 on this calendar. So what do we get for day number 8? Let's find out. So, let's find out where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Look, I don't know. So number 8 is a big one, a big circle. And we get a number 8. You get, oh, it is a body butter. Yeah, that's nice. So in day number eight, you get the British Rose body butter. And if you want to take part in the giveaway, let me know how you're celebrating Christmas, what your Christmas traditions, what does Christmas mean for you? And I would also like you to send me images on my Instagram account. I will link my name down below. And if you can't find it on my name, that I link down below, you can also go to the link that is in my bio um, on, on YouTube. So you should be able to go to my page, either way, to be able to tag me in your pictures uh, to do a Christmas, and it can be anything you want. You don't even have to include yourself in them. But yes, if you do want to take part in the giveaway, details are down below and you get to win stuff like this in a little goodie bag which I'll be sending out to you hopefully before the new year but that's something if you want to take part so yeah that's what you get in day number eight now that that's all we're done with I'm going to go on to the video which today I'm going to be doing the book tag now I actually saw another youtuber do this book tag and it made me really want to do it uh looking through the questions there is one question I can't really do because Kind of over, we've kind of gone past that point um, but I'm going to try and answer the other questions to do with my books so this year on Goodreads I set myself the goal of reading 25 books and so far I have not yet met that goal I've even been reading loads of poems which I don't normally read and that is just to try and reach this goal um, at the beginning of the year when we started going into lockdown I had a bit of a reading slump where I, just, I didn't fancy reading anything and I know a lot of people say that if you want to get back into reading, you should um, read books that you've already read before, that you love. So I read two books that I've read before and absolutely loved. And I loved them again this year as well, obviously. Um, but it still doesn't still doesn't seem to motivate me. Um, and now we're in December and I'm coming closer and closer to the end of the year. And I've still not met my goal. And I think I've got loads of books on the go as well. But let's get on with those questions, shall we? So question number one. Now I found these questions on a blog post, but they're pretty much the same things that you'd find in the videos as well. So the question number one is, are there any books you've started this year you need to finish? Yes. Yes there is. I think there's about 14 or 15 books that I've started this year uh, that I need to finish. <laughs> uh, to show you just the physical ones that I have, um, I have got... The Execution, which is an S.J. Paris book, and I was so excited for this, but then she brought out um, some little ones, like mini short stories, so I kind of read that one instead. Uh, but yes, I uh, started this a little bit, and I haven't yet finished it. I'm not even halfway through. I think I'm up to what chapter I'm up to. I don't even know if I've finished like chapter one yet on it, because I think it's quite a lengthy... Oh no, I'm on chapter two on this. So yeah, this book that I was long waiting for, finally got and I just haven't read it because I have so many other books that I'm reading so now yes I've got the execution by Esther Paris which is the sixth series um the sixth book in the Bruno series um like I said she did bring out so much short stories as well and that's what I've been reading um there is a there is a short story in here that I have finished but there's another one that I'm going to be beginning um uh, this year which is a Christmassy one so that'll get done at some point so I'll leave that to one side uh, another book that I started was uh, why I, I'm no longer talking to white people about race. The reason why I only got up to, uh, <laughs> I got up to chapter three, which is uh, what is white privilege? And the reason why um, it's taken me so long to read this is because it's just so much, so much information just boom sent to you. It's just a small book, such a small book. And yet there is so much information in here and it's just, it's a lot to process because it's factual as well. It's all facts. It's all real. It's all based on real life. It's no stories or anything like that. It's all factual. And I don't do well with factional books. I do better with fiction. Um, but I, I wanted to read it. And I'm planning to finish it. This will be a book that will get finished this year. Um, but it's just, it's a lot of information just kind of uh, crammed into the chapters, which is fantastic. It's just a lot to process though while you're, while you're reading it. So that's why it's taken me a while to get through that. But I will get this one finished by the end of the year. This is what I need to do. 
Uh, another book I started, I started this in October. This was one of my Halloween reads, Dracula. I haven't actually got that far on this. I think I'm on chapter three, chapter three. To say that this was my Halloween read, I've just not been, I've just not been invested in reading full stop really. And so this, again, this was another book I've been, I've been wanting to read for ages. Picked it up this year, thinking that I was gonna like not be able to put it down and that's not it at all. I completely, I'm still struggling with it. So I've got that to read. See, you will see there is a big massive pile. And these are just the physicals. Um, then I also, cause I started watching His Dark Materials this year, which I know the second season's just uh, come out as well this year. So I decided to read the book. I haven't got that far on this either. I'm up to what chapter am I up? So as you probably see, I'm up to like I've got like a little bit through. I'm up to chapter two on this. Chapter two of his dark materials or Northern Lights as this is. Um this is a part one of the three book series, I think it is. And I'm struggling with it. I'm not overly sold on a TV series, so I don't think I'm gonna overly sold on this. It's not something obviously I've read as a child, so I've not grown up with this. I'm coming into it fully as an adult and I'm just not that submersed into it. It's like the idea of like the souls and how they connect, the animals being souls and connected to humans and stuff. It's, I don't know if it's, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to try. Like I said, I was watching His Dark Materials, which I still haven't finished the first season, um, but I was watching that and it is a fantasy world sort of thing. Um, so it's somewhat along the lines of what I like. Then again, I like a variety of different things. So who knows, maybe if I get a bit more in depth with this, maybe I'll like it. But at the moment, I'm just literally on, just on chapter two. And the another physical book that I started this year was The Lady Elizabeth by Alison Weir. This was her first fictional book. And oh my god, there's, oh, it's so long. I am still in like the first section. So it's in one, two, I think it's in four sections. So you've got The Daughter of a King, which is all about her being Henry's daughter. Then you've got the... The, the princess of a, the princess of a, a sister of a king, sorry, which is all about her being the, the sister to Edward, and then it's the um, sister to a queen, which is about Mary, and then it'll eventually go to her having her own um, timeline of being queen. And I'm still with her with Henry at the moment, and it's just, oh, I want to like it, I want to like it, but it's the Tudor period, and who knows? But it's the Tudor period, and the Tudor period is just one of those periods that I keep trying to like, but I don't know if I really care, because there's just so much information about it. Um, and because she is a historian, so it's all factual, well not all of it, the conversations obviously are factual, there's, there's certain routes that she goes down, which we don't know whether they're real or not, but they are based on rumours. Um, so a lot of the information in here is based on facts, it's based on letters, and it's based on diary accounts, and it's based on where she actually was at those times and stuff, so it's a lot of information to say. It's, a work of fiction. Um, so I'm slowly, slowly dragging myself through that. Maybe it'll pick up, maybe. Another physical book that I have, and the last one I'm going to show you, is um, a little book of mindfulness. So I've been trying to get into mindfulness, I'm trying to be more in the present, and I'm just, I'm just trying, I'm just trying to be more present, I'm trying to be more optimistic and stuff. They say that you are happy if you're in the present, because depression is focusing on the past, anxiety is focusing on the future, you need to be present. So this is one of those things to help me be present. So I'm reading that. And then, my Kindle. My Kindle. So I won't be going through here what I've been reading on my Kindle. Instead, I'll go on my Goodreads and tell you what I have been reading on my Kindle. If I can find it. Uh, so those are just the physical books that I have. The ones I have been reading on my Kindle. Uh, yes, I, I broke and bought, a, I got a Kindle. I got it through doing some online, online courses and it's been the best thing ever because it means I have more access to books for cheaper. It may have been a bad decision. So yes, the other books that I'm currently reading and these are the ones that are on my Kindle so I don't have physical copies of these is Meet Me at the Museum which is a story. Um, not actually that far on that, that's like the latest thing I've just started reading. Uh, Mindfulness in Five Easy Steps. So it's supposed to be a really good book and showing you how you manage to manifest the sort of things you want. I'm oh, sorry, manifest in five years, that's not mindfulness. Manifest, it's talking about how you um, use the law of attraction basically and how is the best way to use that in your everyday life. Another one is bullet journaling, uh, tracking your past, hacking your present and dreaming your future. 
Uh, so I decided I wanted to get into bullet journaling this year because I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there that I follow that do bullet journaling. So I decided to give it a try myself. Um, just eat it. Uh, how intuitive eating can help you to get your shit together around food. Now I do tend to eat intuitively. I tend to eat when I'm hungry. But there has been a lot of times when I've not been hungry and I kind of just force myself to eat because in the back of my head I'm just goes. I'm just always like, oh my head will allow me to not stop eating because it enjoys food too much sort of thing. Uh, which is not a nice way to go about it really um, but I'm wanting to have a better understanding of food what would nourish me because I tend to eat a lot of shit um, so that is why I decided to read that book hoping to um, hoping it would educate me in a better way of what I eat and why I eat and sort of thing uh, TEFL A Short Guide to TEFL all about teaching English as a foreign language I got this book to kind of inspire me to keep on going with my course um, which is an online course about doing TEFL which I have been doing I've actually gotten a lot further than I ever have done before, so I'm very excited about that. Um, so that's a book that I've read just mostly to kind of motivate me. The Courage to Be Disliked, a Japanese phenomenon that uh, shows you how shows you how to change your life and achieve real happiness. When I found that I could download this on my phone, I decided to get it because again, another YouTuber that I watched kind of raved about it she said it was really good and it was one of those books that you, everybody should read sort of thing so that's the only reason why I chose that especially as it was on kindle I could just easily get it um and so I got that and yeah I'm not all this old I don't like the youth Every, it, basically it's split in two ways so it's between a youth and like a philosopher and the youth is always going oh but that doesn't work and that's a load of rubbish and how can that be blah 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 it's supposed to be your mindset but because I'm very much with the philosopher and I actually resonate with what the philosopher says and that everything he says makes sense to me every time the youth talks I'm just like fuck off so I don't actually know if that's gonna really work for me and then the other one is um, healing mantras uh, a positive way to remove stress and exhaustion and anxiety now this again was just a book I thought might be helpful might be useful to try and keep me grounded in the positive in the sort of like in the here and now um, I don't know how I feel about that I'm slowly getting through that really slowly I've not really read much of it uh, but yeah, those are all my books that I am currently reading. That is how many books? Uh, 14 books, that says there. I have 14 books currently on the go. But I've only got, ooh, four more books to go in order to uh, finish my Goodreads um, goal. So yeah, 14 books currently on the go. A lot of those I actually did start really early on this year and just haven't really picked up. It seems to be every time I've wanted to read, I've picked up a new book rather than carried on the book that I'm currently reading which is not, it is like me, but it's also not like me. I've never allowed myself to get to this point of having so many books. Normally, if it's a book that I don't want to pick up, it's like maybe one book, maybe two at a push. But more often than not, it's no more than what I have normally. You know, it just would normally be one or two. So I'm very disappointed in my... Question number two is, do you have an autumnal book to transition to the end of the year? No, I, I don't. Because um, it's winter, obviously. So no, I don't have any books to transition with. The most I had was in October, I obviously had Dracula to read, which was my Halloween read. Um, I do have another book that I plan to read this month. You're probably going, no, but I really want to read Christmas Carol. And that was meant to be my Christmas read, as long as I got all the other ones done, but I haven't. So I don't know if I should start it or not. It is a very thin book. It is a very thin book. So I'm going to be able to read that, do you think? Maybe. But no, other than that, I don't, I don't think I have any books that really would flow with the seasons or anything. Question number three is, is there a new release you're still waiting for? Yes. Yes, there is. There is a new release going to be coming out. It's going to be coming out this month. And I can't tell you anything about it because it's something that I myself have worked on. Um, so there's no actual books of any authors that I like that I've brought out any more books. Actually there is a book that's recently come out that I might get somewhere down uh, later down the road. Uh, but not right now. Um, but yes, uh, a new release that will be coming out this month, I don't know when, but it's coming out this month, is something that I've been working on, uh, or I, I took part in, should I say. And I will be able to tell you more information um, when that's all sorted. That's all I can really say right now. Question number four what are three books you want to read before the end of the year right now most of these books that i really really want to read before the end of the year uh, are the ones that i started at the beginning of the year so those are 
So Lady Elizabeth, I really want to get this finished before the end of the year. The other one that I want to get finished by the end of the year is why I'm no longer talking to white people, white people about race. I want to get that done before the end of the year. Um, cause I just, I just need to get it done. Otherwise it's going to be hovering over me for ages. So that really needs to be done. And the other one that I really want to get read is Dracula. Granted, I started this in October, but these are the three books that I really want to get finished by the end of the year. I just think I should really try and get these finished. The rest of them I can do, um, I can finish at another time really, especially the ones on Kindle, I can finish those later on. Because what I tend to do is once I finish reading a book, I tend to get rid of it, I tend to send it to charity, or I pass it on to a friend if they want to read it and they've never read it. So for example, my cousin wants to read Dracula, so I'll pass that on to her. I have a colleague at work who said she wanted to read this, so I will probably pass that on to her. Uh, and in regards to the Lady Elizabeth, I'm probably going to just donate that to charity. So yes, I need to need to get these ones done. These are the three main top priority books to get read. Ugh. Next question is number five and it is, is there a book that you think could still shock you and become your favourite? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have high hopes about Dracula. A friend of mine has told me that it's not the best. So I don't exactly have high hopes about that. I don't know whether a factual book can really be a fear for it, but I guess I can always be surprised in regards to that. And like I said about the Elizabeth, I don't really know because I don't, I'm not a big lover of the Tudor period. I don't really care for it. It's been overdone in my opinion. Um, but who knows? Maybe, maybe it will surprise me. Maybe it'll fascinate me. Maybe it will become a favourite. Who knows until I finish it. I, I, don't, I don't know. And number... <laughs> Question number six is, have you already made reading plans for 2021? I don't know. Yes, actually, I do. Um, I've pulled out a couple of books that I definitely want to read next year if I haven't finished these. Uh, obviously, these were the ones I will hopefully finish next year because I don't want them waiting around for ages um, but other than that I have actually pulled out a few books that I want to read next year uh, one of those being um, it only happens in the movies um, I've pulled out uh, like a, a biography which is all about nature um, and there is a fair few books on my Kindle as well that I really want to read uh, books that I've been wanting to read for a while um, so yeah there's a, there's a handful of books I definitely want to read next year and it will probably keep changing as well because like the pile that I originally wanted to read this year that completely changed to what it now is um so yes I do definitely have a fair few stories that I want to read next year already in the works and my plan is to try and read as much as possible because reading enhances the mind and enhances your vocabulary and in all fairness, I need to get rid of my books I've got so many books I need to get rid of them I really need to get rid of them this is why I read and get rid of or pass on that's what I tend to do but there we have it guys that is my answers to those book tag questions I want to know from you guys have you got any books that you are still reading from this year and what books are you looking forward to next year are you looking forward to any other books coming out this year I would like to know what you like to read down below let me know also let me know if you are enjoying this series uh, this, well the vlogmas should I say um, and I will see you again in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.